Oh, damn it. You know, I wish... I wish the Premier League season never returned, and it was for obvious reasons. Because I had a whole month of, like, mental peace and mental stability, not having to worry about the crap that goes on at West Ham. But then, we had to play Arsenal on Boxing Day, the league leaders. And that's not an excuse for the loss. But still, I had to play the league leaders. And we just got done over in the second half, man. Ridiculous. Really, it was. It finished Arsenal 3, West Ham 1 at the Emirates Stadium. I'm going to go through it very quickly because I just can't be arsed right now. Team lineup, um, decent lineup given a lot of injury problems. Antonio up top instead of, instead of Skamaka, who's apparently got a little niggle. Um, Suchek and Rice partnering with Paqueta as a 10. Uh, I'm not even going to waste some breath on what I think of that. Four Niles and Downs on the bench. Why? Why were they benched? Why was Four Niles benched for a game like this? Why was Downs benched? He'd been class against top four opposition. Like, bad decisions there from Moyes with the team lineup. Arsenal had a goal disallowed quite early on, but I thought defensively we were pretty sound in that first half. Dawson was good. Sofal making tackles. Cresswell, hmm, so so. Kura, hmm, has to wait for a mistake to happen before he actually gets his arse into gear. What is he going on? Is this why Kura was so cheap? Is this why PSG wanted him gone? Because he's that naff? There was one point in the game, and that was actually in the second half, so it's a little bit later down the line, but there was one point in the game where he actually struck a shot off target, and I was like, what are you doing, man? Are you absolutely mad? West Ham were the first team to score through a penalty. Jared Bowen, okay, he goes down in the box. It is a bit of a dive, but it went in West Ham's favour. Ben Rama took it and scored it. He's our number one penalty taker now. He's hammer of the year so far for me. He's been outstanding. One player who's actually made an improvement and can actually hold his head highly. I thought Antonio on the ball, he doesn't have any ball retention. He gave the ball away in the box because he takes too much harsh touches. Bowen on the wing, good. Bowen actually showed a little bit more confidence about him. Okay, he was a little bit restricted because of Arsenal defence, but he was actually trying his hardest. West Ham were 1-0 up going into the break. Good defensive performance. It was robust and resolute. Good things came from that. It has to be said. Um, second half was just jokes. What the hell was going on? Fabianski is near post getting done by. I'm glad he's not, not going to extend his contract because we need Ariola in. People say Ariola, this, that and the other. Yeah, I know. I know what Ariola did. I, just because he, right, just because he couldn't stop a penalty shootout against some championship team in the Carabao Cup. People are on his back. Oh, Fabianski should have saved that. Oh, Ariola would have saved that. Just that. Nah. Defence is kind of at fault, but still Fabianski shouldn't be going at his near post like that. Declan Rice had a really bad game. I'm sorry, but he did. He was getting done by Solchek. Eight passes out of 18 attempts completed. That's a 44% completion rate, and you are a midfielder. Get out. And stick bloody four nails in. I'm saying it again. I'll put Paquetta next to Rice. We saw it at the World Cup. We know Paquetta can play better in a deeper role. I am sick and bleeding tired of saying it. But I have to say it. Oh, boy. Second goal, I think Declan Rice was done by four. And Arsenal's third was just a really nice strike by Nketiah. We showed nothing other than that. I mean, four hours later on in the game, I had a chance that would have gone in had it not been for some goalkeeping acrobatics. We're out one point from the drop. Moyes is on very thin ice right now. It's almost three years to the day that Mamo Pellegrini was sacked. And then a couple of days later, David Moyes was brought in as the replacement. Could we be seeing an exact to-date repeat of that cycle? I'd be easy to say spend some money in January, but I don't know if that's going to really fix a lot. Okay, Mark Noble's coming back. Fair enough. He's coming back in. He's going to have a role. I think getting him back is going to be beneficial for all parties involved. You have to look at the manager in this. And you look at what Wolves have done. They changed their manager. He's got a win. You look at Villa. 
they got Emery in very quickly. He's changed their fortunes around pretty much. Much. It might be a bit of a process for him, but he's willing to fight for it. Um, these teams below us are going to start booking their ideas up, get a few players in in January, and might end up overtaking us, and that's going to be very scary. We just get nothing back from West Ham, do we? No matter how well we try, we get nothing back. As fans and as players, we get nothing back from this club. The club does nothing for us. Does it? I can't cope with this anymore. We've got Brentford up next. We have to beat them. We've got Leeds after that. We have to win that. Because otherwise, we are absolutely buggered. And I mean, we are literally buggered. There'll be nothing to go for. It's just not on. This whole thing is just not on. Moyes seriously now needs to go. We've got to make changes now. We make changes now, we can fix things. We can do this right. We should, uh, I'm just, that Brentford game is going to get toxic if we lose. I pro promise you this now. It's going to be nasty. Glad I'm not going. I'm glad I live on the side of the pond. We get a result against Brentford. We're okay for now. We lose that. He's gone. And I mean gone. Thank you very much for watching this randomish aftermath. If you like it, thumbs up and sub. See you all soon because I'm just tired and I just can't be bothered right now to even vent.